Okay, so uh, playing tug of war is not gonna make your dog aggressive, but if you don't play appropriately, you will create some bad habits. So when you play tug of war with your dog, the one thing you wanna remember is the game is yours. You make the rules, and uh, you know, I'm playing tug of war with them, I'm letting them get all crazy, sound all nasty even, but when I say it's over, the game's over. Uh, what you don't want to do is, you don't want to keep pulling. When you tell them to stop, you don't want to keep pulling. You want to keep it steady. And you don't want to hide it from them. A lot of people, when they play tug of war, they hide the toy. But this makes them more interesting. I just want to leave it for, you know, I'm telling, I told Jax the game is over. So there's no need for him to uh, grab, at, grab at it, pull on or anything like that. But as soon as the game's back on, then it's, ah, no. As soon as uh, as I say, okay, we're gonna play again, then it's game on. Touch me. That's a good boy. God, God. Out. What I'm not going to do is I'm not going to pull. A lot of people make the mistake of telling the dog out and they're trying to pull the toy out of the dog's mouth. And that's very counterproductive because then you're still playing with the dog. Um, so you don't want to pull. You just want to leave it there and uh, just wait for him to out or correct him until he outs. But you don't want to pull. <laughs> 